Welcome to Mechanical Monday. You are in the shop. I am Ladybug. And I am Juan. Jenkins. And we are your mindset mechanics, reminding you that it is not too late to find, face, and fix what's stalling you. And when you do that, acceleration is inevitable. It is so good to be back in the shop. And in this episode entitled flood zone we are going to talk about what it's like when you get what you want but it can happen too fast so jay you know we're going to talk to the crew about this this is our first time being live in front of the camera there were a lot of challenges to getting to this place we were missing for a few weeks because despite thinking that we were prepared, doing lots of things to go live. We are going to be having some dynamic guests on the podcast here in the shop, but we had some serious challenges. So before I talk about that, have you just ever had a time when you thought you were prepared for something? You thought you had done everything you can do and it just didn't pan out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it can be very deflating. Mm. Um, anytime, you know, you, you think that you have prepared uh, the best way that you know how. Yeah. And it, it's like, you know, you, you're, you're studying for a test and you was like, hey, I've read over this material. Mm. I'm ready to rock and roll. Yeah. And you get there. Um, to the test and it is a hundred questions, fill in the blank, no work. <laughs> and I'm speaking from experience uh, in my college days, uh, taking anatomy and physiology, not going to name the doctor, mm. but um, yes, we've had quite a bit of those type of tests and you are deflated and you are like deep in the water and you're almost defeated yeah. before the thing even starts. So it, it is a very, very um, lonely feeling. And um, and it, it can it can set you back mentally. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Amen. So that is how we ended up here on our couch talking to y'all because behind the scenes, you know, we have a mentor and a coach and the advice was the same. Your podcast, it's nice. It's great. You guys sound great, but you got to get in front of the camera. You got to get in front of the camera. So we took time and effort and money and we got the right space and we got, you know, the videographer and all of those things that we needed. And we set up this long day of recording. We got all of these episodes, you know, in the can, so to speak. And then the person that recorded the videos was not in place. They were not emailing. They were not getting back to us. And then the launch date that we had for the live episodes just kept getting away from us. And so we've actually been missing. And we we did miss y'all. If y'all didn't miss us, we missed y'all yeah. <laughs> for the last several weeks. Yes. Because we thought, you know, and I put a post on Facebook. I was like, pardon our dust while we level up. And it was all exciting. And then it was time for the live episodes. And we did not have the edited episodes. And then there were also some technical difficulties with our software, thinking it could do things that it couldn't, but God blessed us. So we are sitting on our couch, despite renting a space and getting the videographer and the makeup and all of these things, and our guests being lined up, God bless them. We are sitting on our couch in our living room in front of the phone because we decided that done is better than perfect. That is something else that we learned. Done is better than perfect, so here we are. and. I liken it to a flood zone. So we live in Florida. So hurricanes and subsequent flooding has been a thing for decades. So you can, if you think about a hurricane, you can go to the store, you get your batteries, your water, you get everything on the list. You can do everything you're supposed to do. But until you've personally experienced it, nothing can prepare you for a nothing. hurricane. Nothing. 
or flooding. I don't know if you've ever experienced flooding where it's raining and then you see water seeping under the door and it's still raining or, you know, the water is still coming. Nothing can prepare you for that. And so I'll be transparent. I'm to, is it okay if I just tell the mm -hmm. story about, okay. So I'm going to be transparent. I was a huge fan of someone that I found on social media. They're an entrepreneur, they're a coach, they're a multi, multi-millionaire, you know, everything is based on biblical teaching. So I was so excited about the content that this person put out. And I was, you know, reading their books and watching all of their content, thousands of hours of content. And then I had the opportunity to meet that person. And within 60 days, I went from watching that person Pick anyone that you follow on Instagram, YouTube, social media that you genuinely admire, like, that's my person. And imagine fast forwarding 60 days and every week now, a couple of days a week, you are sitting close enough to them to touch them. You talk to them. You ask them questions. They answer you. They know your name. They look at you and smile and address you by name. And so that is what happened to me. And it felt like a flood. And I am a planner. I thought I was prepared for that. And I was not. And if you know anything about flooding, when the water comes really fast, it will knock you off your feet. Yeah. And if you are in your vehicle, you are driving, and then all of a sudden, you can turn the wheel, and you have no control over the vehicle. It starts to spin. It, it's, it slides to the side. And that is kind of how I was feeling. So I was getting what I wanted. Because when I started following this person, I had no idea that they even lived near me. So all of this is happening and it's great. But on the sidelines, all of the building I was doing, going live with the podcast, all of those things, it wasn't working out. And there were so many things happening at once. They were all good things. They were all things I wanted. Well, not the, the technical difficulties and the stuff with the podcast. All of these things were happening at once and it kind of knocked me off my feet. And that's how I ended up, you know, we ended up not having episodes for a few weeks, but we made a conscious decision. Um, it is pretty late. It's going to be mechanical Monday when you see this, but it is late on Sunday to be transparent. Yep. But here we are. So when you have like a natural disaster or you have a flood, if you, you know, kind of think about the people, who are the people that tend to survive when you have that sort of thing? When you the have people that are prepared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have the necessary, um, well, like with the flood, you know, you got sandbags. Mm -hmm. You have sandbags. Um, mm -hmm. They have a new contraption now. It's like a barrier. Um that will replace the sandbags, um, not only preventing water from entering your house, you're thinking about your electricity being knocked out now. Mm. Candles, yeah, um, batteries, extra batteries, flashlights, mm -hmm. uh, bottles of water, extra bottles of water, extra food, non-perishable items. So those are the people that prepare ahead of time. Mm-hmm. And like the old saying goes, you know, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Mm, yeah. So that that's that's one of those things. And when the opportunity comes to you, or when the flood comes to you, because it happens real quick, <laughs> you have in your bag, so to say, you know, um, the tools that you need to 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 push forward. Yeah. And then I think mentally the people who make it, they're the people who don't panic, mm -hmm. uh, the people who can be flexible, and the people who will listen to people who know better than them. Because there were so many people, I remember, well, for me, Hurricane Andrew, I'm telling my age, but I think about Hurricane Katrina because that's a little more recent and how there were so many people that were told to evacuate, 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 and they would not do it. And unfortunately, some people lost their lives. They lost their health. There was a lot of devastation. So like Jay is saying, to be prepared. And so I had all of these skills. I was so excited. I had done my research. But when that flood came with me getting all of these things and, and meeting and networking and 
being in these rooms and I'm listening to these conversations, I was like, this is what I said I wanted, but I was not prepared and it knocked me off my feet. And then I stopped paying attention to the things that I was already supposed to be doing, like piling up your sandbags or like they tell you to get out of your vehicle and sit on the hood or sit on the roof as opposed to staying in the vehicle because that can cause you to drown. So listening to people who know better than you, not panicking, not panicking and being flexible. And that is how we ended up on our couch in front of the phone the night before Mechanical Monday. But we are here. And when you talk about staying ready, I always think about in the word of God when it talks about the wise virgins and the foolish virgins and how they knew the bridegroom was coming and they knew they were supposed to keep oil in their lamp. Half of them did and half of them didn't. And then when they heard that the bridegroom was coming, the half that didn't, they were like, can we borrow some of your oil? And they were like, mm, no. And life is like that. So the people that are prepared, the people that are willing to take risks, to hang in there, to keep their wits about them, oftentimes when the level up comes, the people that were not prepared will get angry at the people who were, they and you will hear things like, oh, it must be nice, or well, everybody's not as lucky as you when mm -hmm. that's not what it is. You're not lucky. You're not lucky. You're sitting up at night when those people are asleep, when those people are scrolling on their phones, when those people are snacking, you are sitting up in your living room <laughs> trying to, you know, record an episode, trying to do what you said you would do. Even though, even right now, while I'm sitting here, I'll be honest, I'm thinking about all of the things I have to do this week, all of the things I have to do even tomorrow in a few hours. And it's like the water is coming up around me, even right now while I'm sitting here, but I am not panicking. Mm -hmm. I'm trusting the process. I'm learning as I go. And I have to trust that it is going to be enough. Done is better than perfect. So obviously you guys already know the part in our dust while we level up is that Mindset Mechanics is going to be live going forward. So that is the level up. That was the announcement those few weeks ago. And despite the water rising and everything else going on, being in this flood zone, we are prepared as best we could be. We are not panicking and we are trusting the one that knows better than us so yeah that is what we have to say this week that is the episode thank you for stopping by i trusted help i am ladybug and i am juan jenkins, jenkins reminding you that it is not too late to find face and fix what's stalling you amen amen Thank you.